Hey guys, Tammy here. And I got my baby Daryl with me today. Long for the ride. And um, we're at a taco truck. And we're eating birria, okay? And not just regular birria tacos, but we're eating birria ramen, okay? Ever heard of that? I haven't. No. And birria quesadillas. And do you get anything else in there, maybe? I got you. A little you. something? Yeah, I did. Okay, I we'll got you surprised. We'll see what it is, okay? But before we dig in, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AdamandEve.com. Okay? Are you sick and tired of your partner not making you nut? Okay, I am. Okay, I deal with that all the time. Okay? AdamandEve.com is going to have everything you need to help you bust a nut solo. Okay, or let's say you have a great partner that does help you bust a nut, and y'all are just looking for a little something extra to throw in there. AdamandEve.com is going to have everything you need to help you do that. Okay, you got an orgy going on. They're going to have everything you're going to need to uh, help your orgy too. Okay, dildos, butt plugs, clit ticklers, sex furniture. Uh, what else they got? Um... Uh, listen, they got it all, okay? They know what they're doing. They've been in business for literally decades. Oh, Tammy, is AdamandEve.com a new company? Are they brand new? No, they've been in the game for a long time. If anybody knows about nothing, it's them, okay? And they're giving you guys... All right, 50% off any one item, some exclusions apply, okay? But for the most part, any one item plus free shipping. So both, you're, you're getting a double discount there, okay? Just use code Tammy at checkout, okay? I'm gonna put all the information below and happy nutting, you guys. When you guys nut, it brings me joy, okay? I love you guys, and happy nothing. Now, you ready for birria, baby? Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. Let me see here. All right. And also, hey. I'm going, tour starts next week. Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be there. I've got two shows in Phoenix. Roswell, New Mexico is sold out, baby. Yeah. So you snooze, you lose. Albuquerque, New Mexico is after that. Those are my first shows in New Mexico, you guys. And then I'm hitting up California, okay? Irvine, Oxnard, Brea, somewhere else. I can't remember. Two of those shows are sold out, okay? You snooze, you lose, baby. And then I'm hitting up um, Bloomington, Illinois. That's almost sold out. Marion, Illinois. Oh, gosh. We got Nashville. Vegas? No. I'm not doing shows in Vegas. Oh. Baby. I thought you were doing something at the Super Bowl halftime party. No, I'll just be there. Jesus. Shh. Okay. So if you guys want to see the whole list of shows, I'm going to put them down in the description. Go get your tickets at eatmytrash.com, okay? And come see me, all right? Let's sell all these shows out. I'm trying to impress my, um, the guy who books them for me. I'm trying to impress him, okay? So come support me, and Daryl's going to be at a couple shows. I will. Okay? I'll tell you how you can impress him. Huh. huh. Some, of, some of that, uh, uh, talking to the microphone action. You know what I mean? My mouth? Yeah. Baby, I'm trying to be professional with him. Jesus. Daryl just thinks I just can go around blowing everybody. <laughs> and I do sometimes, but damn. Okay. All right. All right. Jesus Christ. Here's the here's the birria uh, ramen. Oh. Hold, okay, hold on. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it smells incredible. We got something in here. Let me dig out. And y'all ask some really good questions. 
And Daryl and I've got a, a mukbang up on Patreon too, so go watch that. All right, let's see here. You want to dig into the uh, rom uh, the ramen first, baby? Well, they only give us they only give us two things. Yeah, maybe something's in here. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, so that's the birria quesadilla. Yeah, I got one more thing. I'll be right back. Oh, they didn't give you your whole your whole thing, yeah, baby. Yeah, you sure everything's in there, baby? That's it. Okay. That's it. Let me All right, Daryl's gonna be right back. He's mad. Be nice to him, baby. No will. Sometimes people forget things. Yeah, where's my surprise? <laughs> All right, my baby's coming back. What is it, baby? He says it's in there. Don't let that beer drop. Hold up. Is it? Am I tripping, baby? Oh, little tacos in there. Yeah. I didn't see it's, here. it's covered with the with the cilantro. cilantro. I'm sorry. That's okay, baby. Okay, so my baby added a couple little tacos in there. Yeah. Those are cute. El Pastor. Okay. All right. I say we dig in this. Okay, hold it up. Be uh -oh. careful. Oh yeah. Hold this it is up. Dangerous. It's very dangerous. It's gonna get everywhere. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. That's the berry. Don't. Oh. It's a berry ramen. Let me have it. Oh. oh. Okay. Hold on. Let me help you. I got it, baby. First off, she's big and she's hefty, <laughs> just like my baby likes them. Let's see what we got here. You got a thick bra. Check that out. Check that. Let's do a thumbnail. Get on your own side. Okay. I'm going to try just the broth first. Here we go. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm, baby. Tasty. Mm hmm Here's that. Now let me try the noodles. I'm scared this is going to dump everywhere. Let me try the noodles. It's, it's ramen noodles, and you got the birria meat in there. You're definitely getting the soft birria meat. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Here, baby. All right. All right. Here That's good. Go. Here we go. Let me try it. Oh, the, it's really thick. Mm -hmm. Baby, we're going to have to move this lighting. Oh, yeah. This lighting. We, it's got to be good for the muck bank. Okay. Park over there. We're going to fix the lighting for you guys. I can't have this. Y'all got. Y'all know, to me, this is like a movie set. The lighting has to be perfect. Just pull diagonal right there. I just got straight. You. I got you. The lighting has to be good. Okay, and there we go. Perfect, perfect, baby. All right, there's your little birria. All right, I'm gonna answer a question before I dig into uh, my um, my uh, quesadilla. You got your you got your phone, baby? Oh yeah. Can I get a little bit of this noodle? I'm sorry. Don't make those noise. That y'all y'all hear that noise I, that you just heard? That's the noise he makes when he's coming. That's exactly the noise he makes. That little grunt. <laughs> y'all just got a whiff. Y'all just got a whiff of that. Okay. Hold the beer, yeah. And we're gonna read some questions here. Shit, that's hot. Here we go. You guys ready? And one of these was for you, baby. One of these questions was for you. Okay? All right. Um, Daryl, if you could pick any celebrity to do a threesome with you and Tammy, who would you pick? Living or non-living? Doesn't matter. Either. 
Just make sure that they were living at the time of the threesome. Gotcha. I, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make uh, that clear. Uh, Leah Remy? Okay, from King Queens? Yeah. You always have, have had a thing for her. Okay. Yeah. I could scissor her. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. All right. All right. So, the birria tacos, or the birria uh, quesadillas, that's what they look like. You can tell that they're dipped in the birria sauce. You got your birria meat, you got your cheese. These look incredible. It comes with red onion, these little uh, fried onions, and I'm just going to go in without any sauce and just give it a go. <sighs> look at that cheese on there. Oh, yeah. Can you scoot over a little bit? Yeah. Look at that cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Damn! Is it fire? Mmm. And we're here at this little taco truck in Nashville called, what's it called? Taqueria. No, that's not it. Jalisco? Jalisco. We're right here in front of this place called... Um, the Flea Market. Something Flea Market. What is that place called? I don't know what it's called. Something Flea Market. And it's in the... Uh, it's in the... What's it called? Uh, parking lot. Oh, wait. And this is our second time here. But we didn't get the birria this last time, so we're... Yeah, the birria ramen. All right. Yeah. Now I'm trying it with a little bit of the uh, hot sauce it comes with. Mmm. Baby. Is that your new favorite? Ooh. Golly, this is... This is difficult to that, mukbang. But that green sauce is good. You know what? It's difficult to eat in, in video. Yes. Baby, do your best. That's what we do as mukbangers. We can't take the easy way out. We do foods that other mukbangers wouldn't do. Man, I'm up against the wall right here. Your beard, you just got an inch of your beard in the birria. Oh, I did. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay. Baby, come oh. on. Oh. Baby. Oh. You. Which. Remember that which, time that you were all gushing and I got it all in my beard? Which time? Uh, when you used to make me not? Used to? <laughs> yes, I remember that. It's been a while. All right, we're going to answer another question that, that goes right into um, kind of what I was talking about a while ago of us being muck bankers. Somebody asked, Tammy, will you ever stop doing muck banks? No. As long as you guys are watching. Does the lever ever lose its spots? And as long as people eat. I'm going to be mukbanking. You know, they don't call me the queen of mukbanks for nothing. And why would I want to stop something I'm so good at? Am I considered the king of mukbangs? No, no. No. Prince, I'd say. You're probably the prince. Prince. Oh, I thought you were saying that Prince, the artist. No. Was was the king of mukbangs. No, he never did a mukbang. Oh. I don't think. Mmm. Mmm. The birria meat is soft. Yeah, it is. It's so fall apart. The flavor, the flavor on this thing is amazing. I'm gonna put a little, uh, little fried onion on there too. Oh, shit. So I got my sauce. So I'll tell you what. Hold on, baby. I got my sauce and my... Can you scoot? Can you just sit back and relax? Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I can't. 
Put it up, baby. I burnt me. It burnt me. Put it up. Put it up there. Look at this shit. Calm down. I'm just getting it everywhere. It's all right. Show them what we got. Got a lime. Jarritos. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Did you like first sip? Bet y'all know my baby couldn't do that, huh? That's refreshing. That is refreshing. That's great. Can I get a piece of it? Mm-hmm. You sure can, baby. Ooh. Dip in there. A little hot pepper. Mm. Are you queefing? I've been I've been I posted this picture on my Instagram and people are like, Tammy, where do you get where'd you get that shirt at? This is my merch, normalized queefs. You can get that on my website. Okay. Let me have that when you get this middle piece. Right. Y'all ever like a y'all ever want a specific piece? Ooh. There you go, baby. Goodness. Oh, this beer you talk. This is look at that red onion on there. Look, look, look. I can't tap it right now, but look. Thank you, baby. Mm. Oh man. If you've never had birria, go to your local Mexican place. Make sure it's a good one. Don't go to the Mexican restaurant owned by Sue and Dave Jones. Because you're not going to have birria there. Okay? Go to your local good Mexican place and get birria. Oh my goodness, that's good. Can I get another napkin? Baby, you Are gotta out? you gotta calm down. Wipe your mouth. And chill. Alright, we're gonna ask another question. Mm. Oh, I want another bite. Hold on. No. Yeah. Daryl, what's the most random fact about you? Great question. You want to go first, baby? No. All right, well, I'll go first. The most random fact about me. God, I feel like y'all know everything about me. Hmm. Y'all know everything about me. Y'all know how I like to masturbate. Hmm. Random fact about me. I got one for you. And this is true. When my mom was pregnant. True story. Throughout the whole pregnancy, she was gonna name me Cassie. Cassie. And then when I was born, she said, I came out and she looked at me in the eyes and she said, that's a Tammy. And I've never told anybody that before. So she named me Tammy. But I was almost gonna be Cassie. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird, baby? It is. Because I don't look like a Cassie. I look like a Tammy. Could have been a Cassie, but you're a Tammy. Right. You got one, babe? Um, random, you, random fact. Just think. I am thinking. Um, when I was a kid, I, uh, uh, used to go to all-you-can-eat places. Because, you know, kids under 12 would eat free. 
and I would eat like a grown man. I mean, like I would, I'd put away some food. I could handle. Baby, they know. They see how you eat here. Yeah. Well, if y'all if, if, if think y'all know how you see him eat here, w wait till he's between your legs. That's when he really starts eating. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm, when he really starts I'm, eating. I'm trying to make my way to the butthole. <laughs> now, now, he gets there most of the time. Well, if I don't, my beard does. Right. Exactly. What do I say? Ooh. Baby, that's the beer you just dipped in in there. I was going to say, you start to smell like beer, yeah? <laughs> All right. Let's answer another question. Mm. Did you love? Are you going to eat on one of your tacos? Yeah, I'm going to eat the tacos. You can finish that. Here's the deal. Okay. Ooh, I love this question. Tammy. Daryl. If you could only eat one food one sauce and one drink for the rest of your life what would they be <sighs> okay i'm gonna do it and i'm not just saying this because we're eating mexican food right now the one food would be probably tacos okay and or some sort of mexican food my one sauce would have to be does sour cream count as a sauce, baby? It's a condiment. Sour cream or Mardi Gras. But the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras mustard? The Mardi Gras ain't going to be good on the taco. I'm going to go with sour cream and then the drink. I like something sweet with my tacos, like a Dr. Pepper. Okay. So that would be my, that would be it for me. What about you? Mine's going to be ranch dressing. Okay. Um, That's interesting that you're not going to pick a hot sauce. Because I never see you eat ranch, but you're always pouring hot sauce on shit. Mm. Do you think this one through? You got me. <laughs> I know you better than anyone. I'm right, huh? You know, when I was a kid, I uh, would do... I'd mix picante sauce and ranch, make my own little dip. Baby, you still do that. Yeah. Don't say when I was a kid, you were doing that yesterday. That's true. Well, I made Hot Pockets and he put ranch and he mixed up ranch and picante sauce, sauce on there. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, food, ooh, I would do, I would do uh, uh, pizza. Okay. Ranch and Ooh. That's interesting. I think you're making that up. Arnold Palmer. He he. My not, now my baby does love an Arnold Palmer. Go ahead and tell everybody what that is if they don't know. It's a mixture of tea and lemonade. Half tea, half lemonade. Mm -hmm. And my baby loves those. He orders those everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. My baby loves an Arnold Palmer. Okay, now let's dig into these tacos here. First off, mm. you only get one taco. Mm hmm Oh, we're gonna share. No, I got it for you. Thank you, baby. Surprise. First off, I'm gonna pick all this nasty ass fucking cilantro off. Now, if something has a little, if there's a little bit on there, I can handle. But it, it, I couldn't even see the taco. Y'all know, because there was so much cilantro on there. Now, if I can't even see the taco because of all the cilantro, that's a problem. They they overdone it. That's a problem. So I'm going to sit here and pick all this shit off for a minute. Okay. Just picking it off. Picking it off. Okay. Picking it off. Pick some meat off. Baby, I know what I did. I'm help you out. Okay. Mm. All right. There we go. Now I'm ready for my taco, and then we'll go back into Oh, you got to lime it up or no? I don't. You I don't, don't lime it I up? I don't lime it up, baby. I don't. But I am going to need you to help. Uh, I only got one hand here, so. What sauce do uh, you need to tap? Pour the green sauce on right there. Okay. And the show everybody, and then I'll tap. Oh, look at this. That's good. That's good. Damn. You burn my mouth. Yeah, I'll burn my baby throat. like my baby. My baby likes it when I my mouth and throat's numb, and y'all know why. Okay, ready? Tapping it. 
you got your tortilla. You got your meat. Now, this is not birria meat. This is carne asada? Or, or El Pastor. El Pastor, so that's pork. Mm -hmm. You got your red onion. You got a little bit of cilantro. And that's it. Okay? And I got my green sauce. Here we go. Very good, too mu a little too much still cilantro for me, <laughs> but it's fine. You want more, another shot of sauce? Yeah, one second, let me pick this cilantro off. God, that was a lot of cilantro. Mm. Pour me up. That's good. Don't ever hold it that high again. Pour it regular, sit down. Okay? Second bite. Mm. That's for my baby. This is how you do it, baby. Ready? You have any more? That's it. Mm. Good, huh? Mm hmm. That's good. Mm. Okay. We got another question here. Okay. Mmm. You just can't go wrong with Mexican food. You can't. Okay. Tammy. Daryl. If you guys woke up and you have swapped bodies... What's the first thing you would do non-sexual? I'm glad you added the non-sexual because my first thought would be to jack off. Because I've never, I've only jacked other people off. I've never jacked myself off. I would, I would. Because I don't a, have a winner, you know. I'd do a little swipe and just smell. Not even sexually, just swipe, swipe and smell. I like, <laughs> you know, like just swipe. But, baby, you do that. Anyway, with me, he'll just walk up and just swipe and smell. You do that anyway. Well, here. No, I'm not getting demonetized. Well, we're gonna show him. You gotta think about these things. Don't and when, swap and, and smell on camera. And so what you gotta do is you just go like this, swipe, and baby, they know how to swap and smell. Swipe. Mm. Sometimes. If she's right, it'll clear them sinuses up. No colds around here. Okay, what else would you do? That's it? You swipe and smell. That's it? I'd probably do that. I'd probably do that helicopter thing all the guys do with their wieners and balls. Where they just sit there and they they don't even hold it. Their hands are up and they're, and they're making the wieners do this. I do that. Dick copter? Dick copter. I, I do you. that all the time. I would. I know what I do. Because you always give me a hard time say I, I nibbling on your nipples when uh -huh. I bite. I, I would I'd bite on your nipples because your tip is long enough. I can reach it at my mouth. So you, you'd bite you you that's smart. I would determine what your the pain tolerance is so that way I know when we switch back. <sighs> Baby, that was so sweet. You do that for me? Well, it's actually for me because then I know how I can I can still I can feed every now and again. That's really sweet. The fact that the fact that you would be in my body and you do something for me for when we switched back is so nice, and I really appreciate that. And hey, if y'all get if y'all have a good one, if y'all get a good one like that, stick with him, okay? Because me and Daryl have been together for 18 years. And trust me, there's been times where I have wanted to just say bye. Well, you know. But if you get you a man that would do something like that for you. The worst thing he ever did to me was threw a basket of laundry at me. And what was upsetting is that I had just folded the laundry. And you had to refold them. But you know what? We're well past that. You know, doesn't Buzz Lightyear say to the future and beyond? What? Maybe. Okay, guys. 
I love y'all. Let's go. This is a short mukbang because we we're done eating. Guess we didn't get enough food. <laughs> we're done eating. You should, Daryl should have ordered more food, but that's okay. We're gonna be back with another mukbang. You guys, uh, go come see me on tour, okay? She's gonna be all over. I'm gonna be all over, and uh, Daryl might be there. You might see him. He likes to walk around the lobby and. And swipe people. I like to swipe <laughs> people. To swipe. Swipe so, people. So if you see him doing that, you know. Right. If you don't want it done, just stay clear. Exactly. Probably. But if I'm walking towards you and we make eye contact. He's going to swipe. I'm going to get swiped. Right. With consent. You know, he'll just say, hey, you want to be swiped? And most of y'all do, you know. If you come into a Tammy show, you're not going to not, not be swiped. You know you what? Know? I, I will do you one better. You need we'll, to hold a swiping line. We'll, 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 we'll swipe each other, and whoever smells uh, worse has to buy the other one a beer. All right, guys. Always click my description and read what I put down there. Where do you put it? I put things in the descriptions. Read them. Oh, is this the one that... Uh, I think I'm going to start putting uh, surprises down there. Oh, like, what are those Shh. called? Gopher holes? Oh, baby. Don't even know what you're talking about. I'm going to start putting surprises down there. Okay? Love y'all. She did do a surprise down there for me once. Remember when you put the Hershey kiss down there? I'm not talking about down there between your legs. I'm oh. talking about the description in the YouTube video. Oh. Well, can I even tell? Go ahead. <laughs> he loved it. Well, she put a Hershey kiss down there with the almond in there. And then she didn't realize she was allergic to almonds. Got an almond allergy and her pussy swole up. Even more swole than it already is. Cause it's already swole. The lips are swollen, naturally. And I didn't know. And I'm listen. My mouth's not allergic to almonds, right? But my pussy is. V va vaginal almonditis. Vaginal almonditis. So, so I have never since put an almond down there. Daryl says almond. I say almond the correct way. <laughs> but yes, I do have vaginal almonditis. Um, <laughs> what, baby? I love almond joys. He loves almond joys. Well, I, you can eat them. You don't have vaginal almonditis like You're me. never going to surprise me with the Hershey kiss and the almond. I'll put a pecan down there or something. We, there's many, baby, there's a thousand other nuts. Calm down. The main one. All right, guys. Babe. All right, guys. Click the description. All right? Love y'all. We love you. Bye. Bye.